Hello there everyone. Uh, you just caught me reminiscing about the time that I ran off a six and a half thousand foot mountain with a man strapped to my back and thankfully a parachute as well. This was in um, Turkey in Olodeniz. I don't know if you can see the picture there. There I am with him and uh, thankfully he's doing the flying. He did at one point say to me, would you like to take over the reins? and do some flying but I have to admit that my mind was on other things at that moment and so I didn't take him up on his offer but it's a lovely example to me of empowerment and of how when you work together it opens up opportunities for you for things that you wouldn't otherwise have had the possibility of doing and uh, that's been my experience in the church as well when the church has worked together in the town uh, we can do amazing things that otherwise we wouldn't have been able to do as an individual church, for example, in the town. And uh, today we're on day 47 of uh, God's plan for our well-being, which is all about teamwork, working alone or together with others. And, you know, Jesus is a great team releaser. We see that and you, you wonder sometimes why he did it because um, you know obviously he called the 12 disciples and he confided in three of them on occasion as well and um, when he was coming down from uh, being transfigured uh, on a mountain he came down to his disciples and he he saw them arguing with other religious leaders uh, they weren't able to help an epileptic boy uh, and um, Jesus had some strong words for them. They went on from there and they were arguing about who is the greatest. They went on from there and a couple of them actually wanted to call fire down on a village that wasn't very welcoming. And, uh, you know, you at that point you think Jesus, you know, start again or something like that. But no, you know what he actually did? He sent them out seven, with 72 he sent 72 disciples out as he'd sent the 12 out before in twos. Jesus actually empowered them more. After all those disasters, he empowered them even more. Isn't that a wonderful thing? And, you know, God knows the weaknesses in our lives. God, God knows our frailties and our failings. Yet he also sees the potential. He also sees uh, what we are in him and he wants to empower us into our destiny. And that's best done often in teams. Just as we see in nature with ants and lions and bees and meerkats and a whole host of other creatures. Those creatures rely on each other in order to get the job done. And, and God's called us into a family, into a body to be knit together with others in order to fulfill his great commission. Uh, in order to bless others and we see that in the life of Elijah as well Elijah as we've been following in the, in this book uh, Elijah was mentoring Elisha he went through a, a very difficult time and met with God afresh and then the Lord joined him together with Elisha and uh, he mentored Elisha and, and he, he also I, I believe received from Elisha as well as giving to him and there was this one day when Elijah was going up to heaven, Elisha would not leave his side. He was so bonded to him and he wanted to receive from him in that place. And in fact, he asked for a double portion of his spirit as Elijah went up to heaven. And Elisha received that wonderful anointing when Elijah went. What a wonderful, empowering thing. So let's praise God for each other. And I want to ask you today to ask the Lord, who does he want you to link with, to walk with, uh, that uh, you can give to them, but also you can receive from them. Let's pray together. Father God, thank you for each other. Thank you that you place us together in your body. Uh, thank you, Lord, that uh, teamwork does make the dream work. Thank you, Lord, that we can work together for your kingdom and achieve much more together than we can alone. Link us to those that you want to link us to, Lord. For your name's sake. Amen. God bless you.